Beep, boop. Hello and welcome to Star Trek is Life. In this video, we will be covering everything you need to know about InSight, the Mars robotic lander. InSight is a robotic lander designed to study the deep interior of the planet Mars. The mission launched on the 5th of May, 2018 at 11.05 Universal Time. At approximately 19.52 and 59 seconds Universal Time on the 26th of November 2018 and after a journey of 485 million kilometers or 301 million miles, the lander successfully landed on the surface of Mars at Elysium Planitia where it will deploy a seismometer and burrow a heat probe. It will also perform a series of radio science experiments to complement the studies of the internal structure and rotation of Mars. The mission is managed by the Jet Propulsion Laboratory for NASA. The lander was manufactured by Lockheed Martin Space Systems. The name is an acronym for Interior Exploration Using Seismic Investigations, Geodesy, and Heat Transport. InSight's objective is to place a stationary lander equipped with a seismometer called SEIS produced by the French space agency CNES and measure heat transfer with a heat probe called HP3 produced by the German space agency DLR to study the planet's early geological evolution. This could bring new understanding to the solar system's terrestrial planets Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and Earth's moon. By reusing technology from the Mars Phoenix lander, which successfully landed on Mars in 2008, the cost and risk would be reduced. The lander was originally planned for launch in March 2016, following a persistent vacuum failure in the SEIS instrument prior to launch. With the 2016 window missed, InSight was returned to Lockheed Martin's facility in Denver, Colorado for storage. NASA officials decided in March 2016 to delay launching InSight to May 2018. This allowed time for the seismometer issue to be fixed, although it increased the cost from the previous $675 million to a total of $830 million. InSight was initially known as GEMS, or Geophysical Monitoring Station, but its name was changed in early 2012 following a request by NASA. Out of 28 proposals from 2010, it was one of the three Discovery Program finalists receiving $3 million in May 2011 to develop a detailed concept study. In August 2012, InSight was selected for development and launch. Managed by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory with participation from scientists from several countries, the mission is cost-capped at $425 million, not including launch vehicle funding. Lockheed Martin began construction of the lander on 19th of May 2014 with general testing starting in 27th of May 2015. As previously stated, a persistent vacuum leak with the CNES supplied seismometer known as the Seismic Experiment for Interior Structure led NASA to postpone the planned launch in March of 2016 to May of 2018. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory took over the development of the vacuum container for the SEIS, with CNES handling instrumentation, integration, and test activities. When InSight was delayed, the rest of the spacecraft was returned to Lockheed Martin's facility in Colorado for storage, and the Atlas V rocket intended to launch the spacecraft was redesigned to the Worldview 4 mission. On the 9th of March 2016, NASA officials announced that InSight would be delayed until 2018 launch window at an estimated cost of $150 million. The spacecraft was rescheduled to launch on the 5th of May 2018 for a Mars landing on the 26th of November at 3 p.m. The flight plan remained unchanged with launch using the Atlas V rocket from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory was tasked with the redesigning and building a new vacuum enclosure for the SEIS instrument, while CNES conducted instrument integration and testing. On November 22, 2017, InSight completed testing in a thermal vacuum, also known as TVAC testing, where the spacecraft is put in a simulated space conditions with reduced pressures and various thermal loads. 
On the 23rd of January 2018, after long storage, its solar panels were once again deployed and tested, and a second silicon chip containing 1.6 million names from the public was added to the lander. On the 28th of February 2018, InSight was shipped via C-17 cargo aircraft from the Lockheed Martin Space Systems Building in Denver to the Vandenberg Air Force Base in California in order to be integrated to the launch vehicle. The lander was launched on the 5th of May 2018 and arrived on Mars at approximately 1954 Universal Time on the 26th of November 2018. The InSight mission placed the single stationary lander on Mars to study its deep interior and address the fundamental issue of planetary and solar system science, understanding the processes that shaped the rocky planets on the inner solar system, including Earth, more than 4 billion years ago. InSight's primary objective is to study the earliest evolutionary history of the processes that shaped Mars. By studying the size, thickness, density, and overall structure of Mars's core, mantle, and crust, as well as the rate at which heat escapes from the planet's interior, InSight will provide a glimpse into the evolutionary process of all the rocky planets in the inner solar system. The rocky inner planets share a common ancestry that begins with the process called accretion. As the body increases in size, its interior heats up and evolves and becomes a terrestrial planet, containing a core, mantle, and crust. Despite this common ancestry, each of the terrestrial planets is later shaped and molded through a poorly understood process called differentiation. InSight mission goals is to improve the understanding of this process and, by extension, terrestrial evolution, by measuring the planetary building blocks shaped by this differentiation, a terrestrial's planet core, mantle, and crust. The mission will determine if there's any seismic activity, measure the rate of heat flow from the interior, estimate the size of Mars's core, and whether the core is liquid or solid. This data would be the first of its kind for Mars. It is also expected that frequent meteor airbursts will provide additional seismoacoustic signals to probe the interior of Mars. The mission's secondary objective is to conduct an in-depth study of geophysics, tectonic activity, and the effect of meteorite impacts on Mars, which could provide knowledge about such processes on Earth. Measurements of crust thickness, mantle viscosity, core radius and density, and seismic activity should result in a 3 to 10-fold increase in accuracy compared to current data. In terms of fundamental processes shaping planetary formation, it is thought that Mars contains the most in-depth and accurate historical record because it is big enough to have undergone the earliest accretion and internal heating processes that shaped the terrestrial planets, but is small enough to have retained signs of those processes. After landing, the mission will take three months to deploy and commission the science instruments. It will then begin its mission of observing Mars, which is expected to last two years. So I'm definitely looking forward to the new information that we have from our fellow planet and all of the pictures that are sure to come over the next two years. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. And until next time, this is Ernest from Star Trek is Life. Boop beep.